Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we have created this transportation and logistic dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of this dashboard and here we are showing the number of shipments, total shipping cost, average distance in kilometers, average weight in kg and average transit time. Here we are showing the number of shipments by the status, how many delayed, how many cancelled, how many in transit and finally how many delivered. We are showing the numbers as well as the percentage also. This is the number of shipment by the carrier and these are the name of the carriers and here we are showing the shipping cost by the month. So you can see the month on month shipping cost also. We have given some slicers also on the left hand side. We have given the carrier and the mode of transport for example. I want to see by rail so just select that then you can see by rail by shape by truck by year so as you want to see everything will be changed and you can quickly see that or you want to see by the product type also you can see product type also okay destinations also you can select the destination then you can see that information all right so this is totally dynamic now I will show you the carrier performance also and here we are showing the shipping cost by mode of transport. So you can see where we are getting the more maximum cost. You can easily see this in the percentage as well as the absolute values. This is shipping cost by the carrier. So you can see the maximum cost and the minimum cost also. The average distance kilometer by the carrier. And again we have the same slicer so you can easily select any slicer and you can see the further information okay now i will show you the next page that is route analysis so let's click on this and here in the route analysis we are showing the shipping cost by the origin and here we have the origin name city name and this is the shipping cost by the destination and here we are showing the average distance by the destination okay and then in the product shipment phase, we are showing the number of shipments by the product type. We have a different type of product, so we can see the number of shipment here. Then we have here shipment cost by product type. So we have here various product type here and this is the shipment cost. Average transit time in days by the product type also. Okay, so this is totally product type analysis and now I'll show you the time based analysis also. Here we have the average transit time by the mode of transport and here we are showing the average transit time in days by carrier and here average transit time in days by the destination okay and these all are dynamic if you select any month and then you can see automatically that is getting changed or you select let's say product type then still it is getting changed or any slicer you select automatically you can see that uh, information now I will show you the data of this, how you can update the data and how you can refresh this. Let me go to the file options, go to the advance and just scroll it down and select so C tabs, click on OK. Now we can see all the C tabs available here. Let's select the data. Here we have the data. In the data we have the shipment ID date, carrier, mode of transport, product type, origin, destination, distance in kilometer, then we have weight and then we have transit time in days, then status whether it is cancelled or delivered or in transit and then we have the shipping cost in USD, estimated arrival date, then we have created here month and year also on the basis of this date column. Okay. We have the date column here, so on the basis of that. This is some sample and dummy data, not the original data, but you can put your data here. You can simply remove this data and you can paste your data here. Then you just need to go to the data tab and from here you can just go to the refresh all. Just refresh it all automatically whole dashboard will be refreshed. Now I will show you the support sheet also. In the support sheet we have created various pivot table you can see. Okay, and here we have created other pivot tables also and we have put here this uh, 
heading also like this is for the overview page and then here we have the career performance page and we have created three pivot tables here then here we have created shipping cost by the origin destination this is basically route analysis then here we have created for the product shipment anal analytics okay and here we are showing the time based analysis so we have created all the pivot table on the basis of these pivot table then we are creating the dashboard here now let me show you this dashboard how we are creating so first let me show you this is the protected sheet so just go to the review and click on unprotect sheet it will not prompt any password because we haven't put any password so it will be unprotected without asking any password okay this is unprotected now now this is the separate rectangle in the back end we have the gray color you can see here this is the chart and behind that chart we have this shape rectangle shape okay so that is how we have created this and we have created the slicers also here and here we have put the hyperlinks and we have created these cards using the text so if you want to learn more about in detail how to create such type of dashboard charts how we can create this type of infographics chart you can join our course we have given the course link in the video description box you can just uh, join that at the discounted rates using that link and you will get all the practice files we have explained many advanced charts like the battery chart speedometer chart and progress circle chart using the pivot table okay and how you can connect such type of chart with the slicers also as well as we have explained how you can create the complex pivot table calculated fields and everything there and we have also explained how you can create the dashboards also in the same course for each and every topic you will get the practice file inside that course so the link is given in the video description box you can enroll that course and here i will give you the quick idea how we have created this type of cards so let me come to this support sheet and let me add a sheet here so let's say i have changed the color of this background let's say in gray then just go to the insert and insert the normal rectangle let's say i'm taking this one and just pick this yellow handle now let's say i'm filling here this white color and then go to the insert insert a text box and just drag the text box here and click on the outline of the click on the border of this text box and go to the formula bar and press equal to and then just go to the support sheet so here on the support sheet we have created the pivot table for each and every card so for example i want to show the shipping cost so i will select this and i'll just hit the enter it is not showing that information just because if you look at the formula it is saying get pivot data then shipping cost usd right so we can't uh, connect the text box with the help of get pivot table get pivot data formula we need to use the simple this formula so we can just delete this like this and just use this h3 only and just hit the enter now we are getting this shipping cost right if i'll use here h4 or let me keep the shipping cost here first and go to the format and take the shape fill as no fill shape outline as no outline and just make that make this duplicate control d and let's keep this here so here in place of h3 let's take the h4 and enter so we are getting that cost because on the h4 if you see that is h4 and we have the cost here if i come here i can further align this select these two align them center center make them bold and for this amount you can make this slightly bigger okay now if you insert any slicer if i insert any slicer here let's say insert a slicer let's say mode of transport okay and i can cut this slicer from here press ctrl x and paste this slicer here on this seat you can change the number of column of the slicer let's take two here if i click then you can see my cost is getting changed all right so that is how we have created the cards these cards and you can change the colors also for this you can simply take here let's say i'm taking this green or darker green and here i'm taking let's say this green 
so you can simply change the color and you easily you can create this type of cards similarly we can insert the charts also so let's say i want to insert the column chart for this you can simply go to the insert and you can insert the column chart so let's say i'm taking this column chart further you can change the chart style as you want but first if you create the chart from a pivot table that is a pivot chart not the normal chart and because this is the pivot chart so we are getting here number of shipment career button here to filter okay so we have to hide these all buttons so we'll go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and just say hide all now this is looking like a normal chart and from here you can uncheck the legend and let's don't take the grid lines also now we have the normal chart so further you can change the formatting as you want let's say i'm going to the format data series and i want to change the cap width and here i want to fill this green color then i'm going again on the safe fill and go to the gradient and i want to take this gradient let's add the data labels so data labels are here now we can change this the title also this is the this is the cost right this is the change this okay now let me cut this chart press ctrl x and come to the the seat which we have created seat one and we can paste that here now we can resize the chart as per our requirement and this chart will be connected with the slicers again if i change this then you can see it is getting changed if in your case if chart is not getting changed only card is getting changed in that case you can just see whether this slicer is connected with the chart pivot table or not so how you can check that just right click and go to the report connection and here make sure all the pivot tables are connected if it is unchecked like this so you have to check that okay so then you can see it is working so friends that is how we have created this type of dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching